I notice he's not denying the £46 billion promise to scrap the national insurance, but is refusing to say where the money will come from. And we've been trying for months to get to the bottom of this. So now's his chance. No more spin, no more waffle, no more diversion. I know that'll be difficult. He can either, Mr Speaker, this is the choice, he can either cut state pension or the NHS that national insurance funds, that's route one, or he can put up income tax. Which one is it? I was a lawyer long enough to know when someone's avoiding the question. So I, I'm going to give him another chance. Will he now rule out cuts the NHS, cuts the state pension, or putting up taxes to pay for his unfunded £46 billion promise to scrap national insurance? I'll be really generous now and give him one last chance. Very simple, very clear. Is his £46 billion promise to abolish national insurance being paid for by cuts to the NHS? cuts to the state pension, or yet another Tory tax rise.